hello friends welcome to the video lecture series on a data analysis with the help of python so in this tutorial we are going to see about how you can perform different arithmetic operation on a data frame object and a series object so first uh, we'll see about how you can add different uh, series data then we'll see for how data frame uh, object you can add and then we'll perform a addition on a one data frame object and one is on a series object so for all of this uh, example I have already created a sample data set in all the three cases. So let's start with the series data addition that how you can uh, add two different series with different index value. So I have done the necessary imports for us import pandas as a PD. So I have created the two data series S1 and S2 each is having a one is having a four values another is a five value. All values are a float value between minus 10 to 10 range and but the indexing value in a both the cases is different so our objective is to see when you add this two data series object what is the possible output so let's just execute this s1 and s2 first and let's print it okay uh, I haven't executed this import statement that's why it has given an error okay so it has successfully executed this s1 and s2 let's just print s1 and s2 okay so we have a DCAE so that is nothing but the indexing of S1 series 1.2 minus 6.7 2.4 1.59 and all values are floating point 64 bit value uh, let's just print uh, S2 also okay now suppose uh, we want to perform the arithmetic or addition of these two uh, series uh, what is the possible output that we need to observe so how this pandas series or any kind of arithmetic operation uh, works based on the indexing value it just add or whatever the performs we give commands to do it actually so let's just uh, put s1 plus s2 and let's observe the output so it has given a, a one point to the indexing value a so it will search for indexing a in s1 and indexing value index with a minus 1.2 in a s2 also so in a first case 2.4 and it sec s2 it is a value is minus 1.2 having indexing well indexing is equal to a so it just perform addition on the basis of indexing so for the a it is a 1.2 because 2.4 minus 1.2 is equal to 1.2 in case of c also it does the same thing minus 6.7 plus um, minus 2.3 so it's a 9.0 but in case of this d indexing so d is a uh, d data i mean the indexing having a value d which is available in s1 which is 1.2 but in case of s2 there is no d is available so it has written as nn which is a special number it is a not a number so whenever there is no value is available it just compute not a number or it it won't compute the addition for that particular indexing value now suppose we want forcefully this for d also to compute the addition or we can supply uh, there is no D is available in case of this S2 so we can fill the missing value also so how you can perform this missing value let's see so for that we can uh, perform addition operation on a top of S1 and we can supply the argument S2 with one more argument is fill value so wherever there is no value is available it just append a value 0 and it will perform the addition so for all of the indexing value like a a c d e f g we will get at least one value there is no not a number possibility in this case okay so it has written us almost all value let's just observe for the d which is not a number in our earlier case but in this case we have got the 1.2 now let's see how this 1.2 has arrived so in case of s1 the well indexing having a d the value is 1.2 <coughs> 1.2 1 
but in case of S2 there is no D available so it has appended the value 0 so 1.2 plus 0 is nothing but 1.2 so that's why it has given us 1.2 so that's how this addition and similar way you can apply the subtraction multiplication in a division operation uh, point by point or a number by number element by element you can perform it based on the indexing so this is the ad addition we have performed on series data structure now let's uh, perform this addition on a data frame object so I have created the two data frame object I have taken a numpy series a range function and I have received to the 3 comma 3 matrix in a first data frame object and given column name ABC in a second case there are two 12 values I have uh, generated and it has received to the 4 comma 3 matrix but in the second case the column name is ACD now let's see how arithmetic we can perform on the top of it okay I have successfully executed this one now let's see how this df1 plus df2 will come okay before df1 to df2 let's just print df1 I'll just print df2 also okay both the things together doesn't look fine so let's print it one by one so df2 okay now let's apply the addition of df1 plus df2 so you can observe there are a lot of number which is n n so there is not a number available so uh, if you observe let's take any one element like a a column and a third row so a column and a third row which is nothing but the six value in a first case a column in a third row this is 6 6 plus 6 is equal to 10 so based on the similar indexing across the row and across a column if the data is available in a proper manner or a proper value is available it will just add it if the data is missing it will just uh, it won't calculate any addition or any subtraction uh, operation on the top of it and it will just throw the not a number La, let's observe for the B index now why this whole B is a not a number because B is completely absent in a case of DF2 so whole B column is not a number in similar way the D is not a number because D is available in DF2 but it is not available in a DF1 similar way you can observe the fourth row whole fourth row is a not a number because fourth row is available in df2 but it is not available in a df1 so that way you can perform the addition now uh, the same way uh, fill the missing value we applied in a series data structure the same thing we can apply on a data frame data structure also so let's apply df1 dot add df2 and we'll fill the missing value let's fill this with 0 so now we have got almost all value still there is a one value is a not a number so let's try to observe that why it is b3 so fourth row and a bit column bit column and a third fourth row so there is no fourth row exists bit column even if exists so in a first case this cell doesn't exist in a second case b the itself doesn't exist so there is no question of the fourth row even so this is the only element which doesn't exist in df1 definition also in a df2 definition also that's why it has given us not a number remaining all value it has fill up with zero wherever there is no value exi exists and it has calculated the addition based on the indexing and a row number so that is how the addition we have performed on a two different data frame object now let's see one more case and one more example now we'll supply uh, we'll create one data frame object and one a series object that I have already uh, created and then we'll apply the addition on one data frame object and one series object 
so let me just execute uh, this frame data frame object so I have created four cross three matrix the value range from 0 to 12 I mean 0 to 11 and all column has been given name BDE uh, one more series object I have created whose value is 0 1 2 and indexing is B D and E the indexing remains same in a both the case the way I have created it so let's just execute it and print it so we'll get a better idea okay so B D is the indexing and 0 to 11 values are there now series B D E and 0 1 2 okay now let's uh, perform uh, addition on this frame plus series okay so what should actually happen in this case so for B we have a value 0 D having a value 1 so E is having a value 2 and this is a one dimensional object but this frame data frame is a two dimensional object so what it will do it will do this calculation based on a row wise so for the first row whose value is 0 1 and 2 it will add 0 1 2 if as there is a indexing are the same in a both the case for the second row also it will perform the same addition because individual row of this data frame object you can consider as a one dimensional series object so let's see what will happen okay so in each and every row it has added 0 1 2 so 0 1 if you add 1 here it will become 2 and 2 so it will remain as a 4 same way for the second row it has added 0 1 2 so 0 means 3 1 means 4 plus 1 5 and 2 means 5 plus 2 7 so we have got the correct result so that is a row wise addition it has done now suppose <coughs> we want to perform the addition on a column wise so how we can do it so let's just okay so same kind of results we have observed with the help of this add functionality also so that's it for this lecture friends i hope you enjoy listening this video please do like comment and subscribe it